ओके गुड मॉर्निंग मैम दिस साइड ध्रुव गुप्ता फ्रॉम बी टेक सी सेकेंड ईयर सो माय टुडे टॉपिक विल बी कन्फर्मिंग मैपिंग फ्लूड फ्लो सो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक ऑन व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कन्फर्मेबल मैपिंग विच इज द फ्लूड डायनामिक्स और द फ्लूड फ्लो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so in a in my presentation we will be looking over three points first is the introduction second is the application and third is the conclusion on what we get so let us start with the introduction uh, so conformal mapping have been used in studying the air flow around an airplane or the aircraft due to the complexity of the flow around it a lot of simplification must be done so this difficulty is based on the fluid interaction around the aircraft and generally on the aspect that one wants a solution of the practical part of aerodynamics so this is basically the most useful technique to transfer the complicated air flow problems which uh, in the past has been fa uh, faced by the aircraft or the aircraft engineers to a simple problem is conform mapping so conform mapping transforms the complicated air flow problems or it uh, decreases or you can say it's uh, reduces the problems which we face in a aircraft or a plane so let us see so basically now let us understand that what does a fluid flow mean so basically a fluid flow is a part of fluid mechanics and it deals with the fluid dynamics it involves the motion of a fluid subjected to a unbalanced force and this motion uh, continues as long as unbalanced forces are applied so in the graph it is explained more easily that what does this fluid flow mean if we take a graph and we plot it between the shear stress on the y axis and the velocity gradient which is du by dy on the x axis we get three graphs or three plots so the first plot is the ideal plastic fluid which is uh, made on this y axis and it is non parallel to the x1 then we have a curved parabolic uh, shape which is a non newtonian fluid and then we have a third uh, graph which is newtonian fluid which makes a 45 degree angle from the x axis also there is one more thing to note that this x axis which we are dealing with is basically uh, representing the ideal fluid and this y axis is basically representing the ideal solid moreover we can see that in this uh, figure there is a aircraft or air body suppose this white circular object and all these lines which are bending over it and moving from this to this are the flow of the fluid or flow of the air which goes from this side to this side okay if we talk about the applications airplanes it is a very important to give the geometrical description or we can say the uh, the geometry or the shape or the design basically the drawing of what we are basically going to implement of the wing of a aircraft in the beginning of our journey of constructing the fluid flow so in the first figure there is the profile for cylindrical wing so basically it is the wing in which the aircraft has been attached to it so it's basically uh, used for flying and controlling the aerodynamics in the uh, air now second part is the diagram of an air foil with key parameters label so basically this is the air foil which is used in that aircraft which has a upper chamber lower chamber and a cord and it has a cord length from its first end to the last end with the first end known as leading edge and the last end is trailing edge and the attack of angle is basically the line of sight of the wind to the perpendicular body so the angle between the line of sight and the perpendicular relative speed is attack of angle okay here we have some descriptive uh, geometry of the aircraft so in the first model we have that same leading edge and uh, maximum chamber and trailing edge and uh, the cord which is the longest also have a cord line which is passing to the center 
then uh, this plane body is basically the maximum thickness which is in that aircraft okay now in the next figure we can see one term which is lift so lift is basically comp component of aerodynamic force perpendicular to the direction of motion so this lift is a perpendicular now we can also see there are three other terms which is the drag thrust and the weight so what is the drag the drag is a mechanical force is generated by a solid object moving through a fluid and the weight is basically the weight of the object or the weight of the aircraft and thrust is the pressure applied by that object so later continuing it we have a exact relation of the lift force which can be viewed in this so the lift force is uh, density rho infinity v infinity t so where rho infinity is the fluid density and v infinity is the fluid velocity far upstream of the air foil and t is the circulation defined so in this we can see the circulation around the fluid so basically this waves curves or the flow of the fluid or the flow of the air is basically that circulation so this basically this term is known as kutta uh, jowski theorem so now let's see the graphical representation so we have two graphical representation first of all this was the graphical representation of a uh, simple or uh, body suppose we have a body which is a suppose this is a aircraft and this is a plain simple circular body now basically what happens when it comes to the interaction of the air flow it bends into a character of this so like in this diagram you can see that it has been bent in the shape of a small leaf like structure so it basically helps it to travel more or the aircraft to travel easily now after seeing so much application introduction and understanding about the fluid flow let us come to the conclusion that what the we have concluded so the main goal of our thesis was to apply the conformal mapping technique to model the two dimensional fluid flow around an airplane wing so we received the mathematical model used to describe the two dimensional ideal fluid flow around a circular cylinder so just i have explained in the previous slide obtained by this superposition of simple elementary flows so this model was implemented in matlab uh, maybe in uh, doing the coding part in order to visualize the streamline and the equipotential curves for each elementary flow needed in the process of modeling so uh, from this i would like to thank you and uh, uh, that's it thank you